Welcome to Reality Scoop. Please can you take the time to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell and the like button, it's free for you but means the world to us, thank you. Now on with our video. It was a dark and stormy night. The very fabric of the night was woven with threads of ominous darkness, as a storm raged on with relentless fury. Lightning flashed, illuminating the world in stark white light, only to plunge it back into blackness. Each thunderous applause from the heavens echoed the storm's reign of terror over the once serene night. Nestled within this tempestuous tableau, a lone house stood, its silhouette a stark contrast against the storm-ridden sky. Within this sanctuary of walls and a roof, Sarah found herself a solitary inhabitant, her companions for the night the flickering shadows, and the symphony of the storm outside. The power had succumbed to the storm's wrath leaving Sarah in a world devoid of artificial light. The hum of electricity, a sound often taken for granted, was now replaced with the eerie silence of the house, broken only by the relentless assault of the storm. The wind, like a pack of howling wolves, clawed and scratched at the windows, the trees swaying in rhythm to its wild dance. The house, though sturdy, groaned under the storm's onslaught, its creaks and moans a haunting melody in the symphony of the storm. And then it came, a loud crash from downstairs, a discordant note in the storm's composition. The sound was alien, foreign, a stark interruption to the familiar though fearsome sounds of the storm. It was a crash that suggested something more sinister, something that doesn't belong in the harmony of a storm. Fear, like a cold hand, gripped Sarah's heart. It pounded in her chest like a drum, each beat echoing her growing dread. Yet she was not one to succumb to fear. With a deep breath, she reached for her flashlight, its beam a solitary beacon in the enveloping darkness. Grabbing her flashlight, Sarah began her descent down the creaky stairs. Reaching the bottom, Sarah's flashlight revealed an unsettling sight. The front door stood ajar, creaking eerily back and forth as though in rhythm with the stormy symphony outside. It was a gaping maw of darkness that had swallowed the usual comfort of her familiar home. A chill ran up her spine, not from the gusts of wind blowing through the open door, but from the icy grip of fear. Muddy footprints marred the pristine white tiles of her front hall, each one a grotesque mockery of the peace that had been so violently shattered. The footprints, like breadcrumbs in a dark fairy tale, led their way further into the house, their path illuminated by the wavering beam of Sarah's flashlight. The silence in the house was oppressive a thick blanket that seemed to smother every sound except for the relentless patter of rain against the windows and the occasional thunderclaps. Each creak of the house, each gust of wind that whistled through the open door, seemed magnified in the heavy quiet. With every step she took, following the muddy trail, Sarah could feel her heart pounding in her chest like a war drum. Fear was a bitter taste in her mouth, but she pressed on, driven by a morbid curiosity, and the desperate hope that this was all just a nightmarish prank. The footprints led her to the kitchen, the heart of her home now transformed into a stage for this macabre spectacle. The usual homely smells of her kitchen were replaced with the earthy scent of wet mud and something else, something metallic and out of place. Sarah's flashlight danced over the kitchen surfaces, casting long, monstrous shadows that seemed to twist and contort in the corners of her vision. The footprints ended abruptly in the middle of the room as though their creator had vanished into thin air. And there, in the kitchen, she discovered a scene that made her blood run cold. In the dim light of her flashlight, a gruesome sight awaited Sarah in the heart of her familiar sanctuary, her kitchen. A sight that would chill the bravest of hearts. There on the counter lay a knife. Not just any knife, mind you but a knife smeared with a thick, viscous substance that glinted ominously under the feeble light. A dark crimson stain that told a story of violence and foreboding. The sight of the bloody knife sent a cold shiver down Sarah's spine, freezing her to the spot, her heart pounding like a drum in her chest. As if this wasn't petrifying enough, her eyes were drawn to the wall. There, in the same sickening scarlet hue, were words that sent an icy wave of terror washing over her. The words were scrawled with a dreadful urgency, as if the author couldn't wait to share their sinister message. I'm coming for you, it declared in a silent scream that echoed in the silence of the room. Sarah's mind raced, 
Her breath hitched in her throat as she read the message. The words seemed to sear into her mind, branding her with fear. The reality of her situation crashed into her like a tidal wave. She was not alone. There was someone else in the house, someone who had left a clear and chilling warning for her. Outside, the wind howled like a banshee, its eerie wail echoing her terror. The rain beat harder against the windows, each drop a drumroll of impending doom. The house, her safe haven, seemed to creak in response to her fear, the very walls whispering threats in her ear. Every shadow seemed to hide a monster, every noise a threat. Yet Sarah knew running was not an option. This was her home, her fortress. She had to face whatever evil had invaded her sanctuary. As she gripped the flashlight tighter, her fear transformed into a grim determination. With a message that read, I'm coming for you, Sarah knew she was not alone. Sarah's heart pounded in her chest like a wild drum echoing through the silence of the night. A tempest had ushered in an eerie darkness, the power outage painting her world in shades of fear. The wind, howling like a spectral choir, was the only sound to keep her company, until the crash from downstairs shattered the monotony of the storm. A door, wide open to the wrath of the night, had welcomed muddy footprints into her sanctuary. The trail led her into the heart of her home, the kitchen, where the sight that awaited her was straight out of a nightmare. A bloody knife, gleaming in the cold light of her flashlight, and a message scrawled in blood on the wall. I'm coming for you, it declared, its sinister promise sending icy tendrils of terror down her spine. In the darkness of the stormy night, with a chilling message on her wall, Sarah was left to wonder, who was coming for her? I hope you enjoyed the video, we at Reality Scoop enjoyed making it for you. Please give this video a thumbs up as this really does help us out a lot. Also if you like our content please consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell to be made aware of our next upload. By subscribing to the channel it really does help us out, plus it's free for you to do. Thank you and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye for now.